can say a racist thing you've done because it just happened. When you just talked to me the way you just did, this is how white women talk to us all the time. These are microaggressions. Mm -hmm. When I say the exact same thing to my white girlfriend who says the same exact thing. I don't care if you talk to everybody like that. Mm -hmm. right? The way you just spoke to me was straight up white supremacy. What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back going to a new video. Today we're going to check it out. Um, I racist movie. This is by Matt Walsh. This is going to be amazing. And uh, I'll love to check this video out for you guys. Let's get right to today's video. Uh, profiting off of it. You know, we do things in the film like we go and uh, we go to uh, what's called a race to dinner, which you saw in the film if you watch the film. Uh, it, and, and this is an organization where you've got Regina, a woman named Regina Jackson, and Cyra Rao, and they'll ch you, you pay them thousands of dollars for them to attend a dinner that you throw. Right. Uh, and they sit at your dinner table and they call you racist for two hours. Yeah. Actually, Margaret, you didn't say yours. What? Your racist thing. Thing that you've done. Thought about or I done. Know. You have yeah. something inside of you that's not quite, like, that's racist. So you must have, you must have examples in your own life. Well, I also work in environmental engineering. I have absolutely no people of color or minimal people of color, possibly the exclusion of being slightly Hispanic. I know. Saira doesn't like, like her attitude. <laughs> I can say a racist thing you've done. What? Because it just happened. When what? you just talked to me the way you just did. This is how white women talk to us all the time. These are microaggressions. Mm -hmm. When I say the exact same thing to my white girlfriend who says the same exact thing. I don't care if you talk to everybody like that. Mm -hmm. right? The way you just spoke to me was straight up white supremacy. You actually just answered with racism. White supremacy so is said to be hidden in innocuous phrases and banal behavior. I, mean, I used to be a white woman, an unsuccessful one, uh, for many decades, and it was a miserable experience. Uh, and really, the, the, the hatred of yourselves and each other is like the most, the not seeing your power. The being afraid, like you, all you do is talk shit about each other, talk shit about yourself. Oh my God, that's, I'm that's so all fat. They do. That's all they do. I'm telling you, these white women, but it's, it's, that's it. It's, I'm so fat, I'm so stupid, I'm blah, blah, blah. Oh Sorry. And I know that it's Matt Walsh. Your kids are watching you. And they're watching you talking shit about each other, you know, raging against the machine or being silent or whatever the hell it is that you're doing or not doing. And they know that you're not doing shit for them. That's so important. That is so important what you just said. It's, re it's really important. That's we all. We may have to add you to our team. Oh, I would love to take a seat and join you. No, I, you're not allowed to. Oh, okay. Definitely I, not allowed. Okay. I do have my, I have my DEI certification that I, oh, that I got. Okay. So, okay. not saying I'm an expert, but I'm also not a novice, so. Okay. White people are starved for these conversations. We are, yeah. we're so starving. Yeah. We are so starving for this. Anyone else? Want to say anything? I'll just say one thing. I'm so glad we can have these conversations, and, uh, and I'll be done. But uh, I'm just so glad that we could all get together to have these conversations. <laughs> That's Thank all I wanted you. to say. Is he an actor? He's Are you no. an actor? Oh, can no. Can you let us? We're trying to listen and trying to have this conversation. Okay. You know, we're all acting all the time in our lives. And, uh, and I think that that's part of the problem, you know? That it's like we're all trying to play a part rather than just being real and having these uncomfortable conversations. And that's what I'm always trying to tell people, especially, you know, white women. No offense. But no, <laughs> so. but see, like, you're a white dude. There's power positions and, yeah. uh, you know, it's it, pointing, pointing white people pointing fingers at each other is not helpful. You know, I've been on this journey for so long. And just to see you guys at the table having this conversation has been really enlightening for me. Anyway, I got the DEI certification, and I'm just on the journey. All right, you ladies okay. have a great day. Decolonize yourself. What, what? Do your own white supremacy dismantling, and then you can start to, be, yes. to bring in other people. Can I, just, can I just say one last thing? Can I just propose a toast? Uh, I mean, just. Raise a glass if you're racist. And that's the thing. 
Cheers. Uh, oh, I'm not racist. Let me just racist. Well, all the rest of them. <laughs> to racist. Uh, and only white women are allowed to, to be a part of this. It's, it's white women and then this Indian woman and a black woman who are running it. And so the interesting thing to me is like, okay, I, I understand the, the two women running it, they get paid thousands of dollars to, and they get a free meal and they get to just insult the people at the table to get right. paid for it. I can kind of understand what motivates them. It's evil, but I understand it. Um, what about the women at the table who are paying for this really unpleasant, miserable experience? That, that to me is a little bit more interesting. And Do they feel absolved? I think, I think that's part of it. I think that they, some of it is virtue signaling, I think. Some of it is signaling to their, to their social group that, uh, that they're enlightened and progressive. And they want to be able to tell their friends that, oh, I did, I did a race to dinner. It was a great, it was an eye-opening experience. That's some of it. But I also think that, that there is, th that they are true believers. And so they do think they're, they're getting something out of it. And, um, we, you know, we, I can't read their mind. I, I don't want to over psychoanalyze them, but I think that it's like, they're carrying around guilt, mm. you know, and That's all true. people have guilt because we've all done, we've all done bad things. And so we feel guilty about it. And that's natural, but they have the guilt. They don't understand where it comes from in their lives. And they're very confused. And then these, these grifters come and say, well, I'll tell you why you have those feelings. It's because you're white. And here's what you can do to atone for your sins. Pay me $5,000 and I'll come to a dinner. And then they do it. And then, and then afterwards, the, the grifters say, well, thanks for the money. By the way, sorry, you're, you're still racist. You know, no, nothing's been solved. Um, <laughs> so just keep, keep, keep paying me. You can manage it. In fact, we... Um, <laughs> nothing's been solved. Yeah, there is no end to it, though. Nothing's solved. Like, nothing, nothing's cured. So it's a disease. Uh, this, the way that they, they sell it is it's, the, this racism is like this inherent disease if you're white. That you have, and it, it can never be cured. It can only be managed. Um, so there could be treatments to, like, tamp down the racism. But you're always going to have it. And, but th that means you got to keep paying. Because there can't be a cure. They can't... You know, they can never say, okay, well, all right, if you did this and you do that and you do that, uh, then you're probably not racist anymore. If they say that, then, then they've lost it's over. They've right. lost you as a customer. You're not a repeat of customer. Course. So they want, they want to have, um, you know, it's like, it's like the iPhone. You want to keep coming back for the updates, and, and that's, what they, that's what they want, which is why you notice with these, with these uh, people that uh, they talk about things like systemic racism, and systemic racism is unfalsifiable. And, and what I mean is that there's nothing that could, they claim that systemic racism exists in America. There's literally nothing that could ever happen that would disprove the existence of systemic racism. Matt Walsh, Vinnie D. D. Lord, and this is movie. Uh, I know this is not all his, like the entire movie, but this is like a scene, a clip in it. And uh, also he was talking to um, Julian Michaels in her uh, show that she had with um, Matt Walsh. This was interesting watch, watching it. You see, this about racism as a whole, guys. It's it's crazy. That's what I'm going to use as crazy. And black people use it as leverage. Let me use that word as leverage, because right now it's it feels like white people are afraid. Like they're afraid. They feel guilty of saying anything to black people. I feel like any word they use is racism as a whole. Like, you can't just use, you can't just say a full sentence without someone calling you racist already. It's, it's crazy. Like, if I'm to be a white guy right now, I'll be scared of myself. I'm scared of like, would, would the black person feel like when, when I ask him for something, I'm racist? Would the black person feel like whenever I tell him to go get something, am I acting racist? Like, different thoughts just comes to your head. It's, it's crazy. Like, it's very, very bad that someone's always accusing you of something every single time, whereas you don't know exactly what you did. They said you have said something racist before. Like, I don't know why some black people feel like the entire white people are all racist. And they have white supremacy. I don't know why they, like, keep using that word, white supremacy. Like, the white are above the black every single time. Probably in the 18th centuries in the 19th centuries, well, not in 2024, guys. Not in 2024. There is nothing as white supremacy. I will say that for free. There is nothing like that. There's nothing like systemic racism.
the same. Like, I don't know who brought that terms out. It's just, it keeps surprising me because they can't prove it. They can't prove that systemic racism exists. They can't prove it. Anyone, any black person, any person who tell you there is systemic racism, ask, just ask him or her to prove it. They can't prove it. I feel pity for white guys, like for, for white people. To be, to be sincere, this generation, white people, people who were never owned slaves, people who were never enslaved, people who were never encouraged slavery, that think guilty of what the four forefathers did. I, I know in the 18th, probably in the 17th centuries, that black were being treated poorly. Some black were, were unable to own a home of their own. They can't stay in white neighborhood. Like, what, black people were afraid. I understand. But this 21st centuries, we have looked past that. Everyone is moving forward. You can't keep dragging the past to your future. It's terrible. It's terrible. Like, a, a white person right now can't just adopt a black child and just say, he's my child or she's my child. You just see black people coming for them. You say, are you sure you're not being racist? Um, adopt the child just to feel pity. Like you start seeing different words, guys, different things coming up on people's mouths. You'd be like, like seriously? It's crazy. This generation we are in now, it's 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 really, really crazy. When I watch slavery videos and also read books about slavery, about how um white people enslave black people. It, it's it drives you to tears, guys. It's very, very devastating. But there is no single person right now, no single white person right now, I can tell you that for free. No single white person right now in 2024 that ever owned a slave, ever encouraged slavery, then why are they being treated that way? Why are they, free, why are they being treated like, this is your cross, you should carry it because your forefathers did this, you should carry the cross for your forefathers. Everybody have to move forward. Like, what can they do to make this racism of a thing go away? So that they will feel like, I'm no longer a racist. Like, is there any reparation for it? Is there anything they can do? Is there any, is there any way they can, anything they can do that will be like, the racism of a thing, you're no longer a racist. You're cleansed. You can go now, you're free. Now, people see it as a way to get over, get out of things. Like, if something's been done to a black person, the black person said the white is being racist. You shouldn't push me that way. You are, you are being racist by pushing me this way. You're like every single thing right now is racism as a whole. They use they just phrase it as around racism. If it, some black people, I won't generalize it as the entire black people, but some black people feel like the entire white people, they are all racist. Like anyone that is white is racist. As long as you have the white skin, you are racist. I don't know how people think. I don't know how people see things like that. Even Hispanic people are also acting that way too. They feel like all oh, white people are also racist. Like it's it's crazy, guys. It's really, really crazy. And that white supremacy, like they cannot achieve anything because the system is against them. It's only white people that can achieve something. It's jeez, oh my goodness. There are more whites in America than black. <laughs> that is it. There is no high position that a black man cannot attain. The, who is Barack Obama? He's a black man. But he he was the president of America. That is the highest position in America. And he was a president. There is no position in 2024 that a white man can get that a black man can also achieve. Hard work. The black culture, uh, this is serious. Guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can, guys. Tell me if I'm racist. <laughs> because right now, these are all pointy fingers at people. It's crazy. Subscribe to the channel, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all